All right, workout worthy, welcome to Total Body Conditioning. This is a fantastic full body workout that gets your cardio, your strength, and your core all done at once. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, like this video, and save this video so you can come back and do this Total Body Conditioning workout anytime. If you'd like all four sections of today's workout, check out workoutworthy.com. Now we are gonna start with a quick warm up. The warm up is the only choreographed part of class and we just wanna get our heart rates elevated, we wanna get our muscles loose, our blood pumping so we can work. March it out with your right leg. Back is tall, abs are tight, and we've got great posture from the warm up to the cool down. Take a nice deep breath, inhale, and exhale. Nice deep breath, inhale, and exhale side to side. To the right, left. Step and tap, four, three, wide knee lifts, out. Pulling our knees up towards our underarms. Keeping that posture, the long neck, the strong core. Hamstring curls, elbows gently pull back. Heels curl up towards our glutes. And as you can see, my heels are disappearing behind my thigh, keeping that alignment through my knees with each curl. Knee lifts, out. Four, three, two. Hamstrings back. Four, three, two, wide knee lifts for four. Hamstring curls, four, four. Wide knees out, hamstring curls back. Now we're gonna to change to sets of two, one on each side, out wide, hamstring curls, out wide, hamstring curls, out, curl, out, side to side, to the right and left. Change this to a two step, two to the right, now bigger arms circle in the direction that you're going. You can stay here with no impact, or if you want a little more, you can add propulsion, a little bit of a hop in the middle of the two step. Four, three, two. Now we're gonna stay with the two step, but add a wide knee. Four more, just like this, with or without propulsion, your choice. Two step with a hamstring curl. Back, back. Propulsion's not necessary. This is your warm up, so do what your body needs. Staying with the two step, cross behind. This can be a little tap, or we can do a deeper lunge. Up and over, up and over. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. March it out. Okay, we're nice and warm. Grab a drink, towel off. We will have some scheduled breaks, but anytime you need water, go ahead and grab it. During our active rest, make sure you're moving around, you're marching in place. You don't wanna stand completely still. Cardio, we're gonna start with a cardio burst. It's only 30 seconds. And it's not only gonna strengthen our cardiovascular system, getting our heart rate up, it's gonna strengthen our core, our arms and our legs. Standing mountain climbers. So I wanna show you the non-impact option right here. The high impact option would be to jump. Okay, we're all gonna stand. And no matter what option you choose, you get to decide your range of motion. It can be little knees, little arms, or it can be higher knees and bigger arms. You also get to choose your speed. Maybe you're moving a little slower, maybe you're moving fast, and you can move fast even without impact. Your cardio burst, 30 seconds. Three, two, one, here we go. Standing mountain climbers. So we wanna control the movement. We're not flaring our arms. 
Our knees are pulling forward, so you do not want your heels coming to your butt. Your feet come forward, so it really makes your torso, makes your hip flexors, your core, your back, everything work harder. Halfway. Knees are soft, abs are tight. Chin is level, we're not a bobblehead, so you don't want to lift your chin, you don't want to lower your chin. Five, four, three, two, one. Great job. Heart rate is high. We're gonna go right into our upper body strength training. Heaviest weight for your back. We're gonna do narrow bent back rows, one set of 24. Long neutral spine, shoulders are back. Hinge forward without letting those shoulders separate. Our arms hang. Here we go, narrow rows. Up for two, lower for two. Exhale and inhale. Feel that length from your tailbone through the crown of your head. Exhale and inhale. Elbows grease your sides. Hands pull to your hips, not your armpits. Two more. Pull. Control. Pull. Single. Strong and steady. Lift. Lift. No bouncing, no momentum. All back muscle. Other muscles are working, head to heels. We stabilize through this back strength set. Eight. If the tempo ever feels too fast, go ahead and slow down and go at your own pace. This is about strength, not speed. Pull. Two more. Pull. Pull. Great job. Deadlifts. So you might use the same weight. You might need to adjust. We are going to do a suitcase hold with these deadlifts. So your fingers stay facing in, legs are straight, knees are soft, four counts. Resisting the stretch as we hinge, then digging our heels down and using the legs to stand back up. Resist the stretch, feeling that length. Squeeze the inner thighs, hamstrings, and glutes. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three. Let's do two more like this, reach. Arms hang, but the shoulders are retracted. Arms are nice and loose. So don't think about the arms helping you lift this weight. Your arms simply hold on to the weight. Two counts. Hinge for two. Squeeze for two. Inhale. <clears throat> Exhale. Hinge. We don't want to just go through the motions. We really want to focus on strengthening inner thighs, hamstrings, and glutes. Reach. Squeeze, reach, and squeeze. Inhale, exhale, legs should be starting to feel a little bit like rubber bands. Four more, just like this. This two count pace is my favorite deadlift pace. So if this feels good to you, stay here. If you do wanna speed it up a little bit, we can do up to eight single tempo deadlifts, eight. Seven, so you'll notice my single tempo deadlift is much smaller. My form is the same, but since it's so quick, I'm not moving very deep to stay isolating. Bent back rows, round two, same set, 24 reps. Adjust your weight carefully if you need to. We are gonna do four slow, narrow rows, and then we're gonna finish with 20 singles. You ready? Here we go. Pull up, lower, down, pull, up, lower, down, exhale, and inhale, one more, nice and slow, pull, singles, lift, lift, so we're not bouncing, not using momentum, we're holding our body nice and tight, pull, pull, inhale, and exhale, great job, 12 more, single narrow rows, using the back to lift and to lower. Eight. Back to be starting to feel quite tired here. Slow it down if you need to. Final four. Three, two, and one. Bring it up. Whew. All right, adjust your weight if you need to. We are gonna go into deadlifts. So deadlifts, facing sideways, long neutral spine, Suitcase hold, so those fingers stay in. Four counts. Reach, two, three, four. Contract, two, three, four. Reach, 
two, three, four, contract. Keep this super slow pace. Feeling those muscles that have to work to keep our form and to isolate the inner thighs, the hamstrings, and the glutes. Those are the moving muscles here. Two counts. Hinge for two. Up for two. Reach and squeeze. Shoulder blades, so important to keep those shoulder blades retracted. We don't want to separate the shoulder blades. We don't want to round our back. Breathing. Inhale and exhale. Feel that length. Great job. We're going to do two more. And remember, you can stay at this two count pace or you can finish with that eight count singles. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now one more, one final strength exercise in this section and we are gonna combine our upper body with our lower body and it's gonna be a shoulder exercise. So light weight, dead lift is what the legs are gonna do. We've already done 48 deadlifts. So our legs are gonna be tired. This lighter weight is still gonna challenge us. We're gonna do a rear fly, and that's what's gonna strengthen the back of our shoulders. So you have that suitcase hold at the bottom of your deadlift, rear fly, control, and then contract. I'm gonna show you from this angle before we start. Deadlift, rear fly with your arms straight, elbow soft, control, and contract based on time, not speed. There's a lot going on here. 60 seconds, here we go. 60 seconds of strength. Resist the stretch, contract the back, control the weight, contract the legs. Now you can go at your own pace, keeping in mind that this is about muscle, not momentum. Breathe, long neck, strong core, reach, Fly, control, contract. We are exactly halfway. 30 seconds down, 30 seconds to go. Legs should be tired. This is a lot of deadlifts, but this is the only section we're doing deadlifts today. Your back, the back of your shoulders should be starting to burn. Breathing through it, don't hold your breath. 10 seconds left, don't stop. Modify. But don't stop. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. Bring it up. Great job, bending your knees. Set the weights down. Now to finish our first section, we've got 30 more seconds, mountain climbers. If you need to stay upright, you can stay upright. That's more than fine. If you can go down to the floor, the best plank that you can do in good form Option one, soften your knee, one knee at a time. Option two, alternate knees without wobbling. Option three, one foot at a time. Option four, jumping. Three, two, one, here we go, 30 seconds. Long neck, strong core, belly sucks in towards the spine, flexing through those core muscles. Breathe. This is cardio, your heart rate is gonna elevate. But we're working our core, working our legs, working our arms, halfway. Long neck, chin is level. Our arms are straight, but elbows are soft. Keep breathing, five seconds left. Four, three, two, one, and done. Sink it back. Couple of deep breaths as we reach an extended child pose. Round up nice and slow. Support yourself to stand, take a nice deep breath, grab a drink, towel off. We're gonna start round two. March in place, march around, don't stand still. Round two starts with cardio. Hari still should be high from those horizontal mountain climbers. We're gonna do standing mountain climbers. You got about five seconds left. Get situated, you ready? Here we go. So 30 seconds. If I don't want to have high impact, I need to either 
go faster or have bigger ranges of motion. So right now I'm doing the biggest range of motion I can control. If I wanted to go faster, even without impact, my range of motion would be a little bit smaller. And don't let the speed throw off your form. Move those arms and legs with intention. Keep the core strong. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. Great job. Strength. This entire section we are gonna do on our mat, on the floor. So take a nice deep breath before we lay down. One more. Okay, dumbbells. You wanna have your dumbbells for a chest press. Heavy weights. You also wanna have dumbbells close by for glute bridges. And then lastly, you want light dumbbells because the last strength move is gonna combine upper body and lower body with a long lever and a smaller muscle group. Dumbbells on your lap, chest is first. As we lay down, long neck, strong core. Shoulders are low and relaxed. Arms extend above your shoulders, not your face. Knuckles are up to the ceiling. Two counts. Bend to a hover, press up. Bend to a hover, press up. If you notice, when I bend my elbows, my shoulders stay low. We need a long neck throughout our shoulder press. What tends to happen is we shrug, our neck disappears, and it pinches all those nerves, all those tendons that run through that joint. So press without shrugging, pressing through the fingers. We don't push through the palms. Neutral wrist, extending without locking the elbows, bending to the hover, singles, two sets of eight, strong and steady. Push, hover, push, hover. As we strengthen the chest, even though we're lying down, rib cage is pulled down, belly sucks in towards the spine, our core is engaged. It's gonna strengthen the core muscles. It's gonna protect the back, and it's gonna burn a couple extra calories. Win, win, win. Two more. Last one. Great job. Okay, glute bridges. How do you need to strengthen? You wanna dig your heels into the floor. If you have extra weight, you can put it on your hips. Otherwise, you can use your body weight. And using the lower body, we squeeze up and we lower. Squeeze up and lower. Think about not thrusting your hips, but think about contracting your inner thighs, your hamstrings and your glutes. Belly sucks in, core is strong. And you don't want to go too high. We don't want to arch our back. Stop parallel that long line from your knees through your hips to your shoulder blades. Don't lift up. Don't pressure your neck. Singles. Squeeze. Hover at the bottom. So just when you feel your butt near the floor, that's low enough. This single tempo pace might need a slower pace or a smaller range of motion. Eight. Think about the legs, not the momentum. We're not throwing our hips up. We're contracting our legs, and that leg contraction is what lifts our hips. Two more. One more. Good. Okay, back to our chest. Grab the weights that work for you. Extend above our shoulders, not our face. Long neck, strong core. And we're gonna start four two count presses. Bend for two. Press up, bend for two, press up. Two more, really feeling the chest, lowering and lifting this weight, keeping this form. Single presses, we've got 20. Strong, inhale, exhale. Long neck, strong core, really isolating the chest muscles while we stabilize through our torso, 12. If it feels too fast, slow it down, or maybe make smaller ranges of motion. The hover at the bottom is the lowest you should go, but you don't have to go that deep. Four more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, one more. Good one. Great job. Okay, glue bridges. We are gonna use a dumbbell if you need it. If you don't, don't use a dumbbell. Squeezing up lower to the hover. And we're gonna stay with the same tempo. The first eight are this slow count pace. 
so you can really feel what the muscles are doing. We're not throwing our hips up, we're not resting or bouncing at the bottom. We contract and control. Belly sucks in, flexing through those muscles. All right, you can stay here for singles. Two sets of eight. Squeeze. Zero pressure on our neck. Evenly distributing any stress across our shoulder blades so it doesn't go any higher. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Great job holding your hamstring. We are going to need to adjust our weight here because we are no longer isolating our large chest muscles with a press. We are going to do chest flies. And yes, our chest is involved, but it's also the anterior, the front part of our shoulder. Glute bridges are just going to be our body weight, but we've already done 48 with the heavy weight, so the, those glute bridge muscles, inner thighs, hamstrings, and glutes should be tired. Arms extend. And I'm gonna have you squeeze into that glute bridge. We're gonna lower to the hover at the same time. Start small. We reach away, squeeze up, reach away. This is gonna be based on time, not speed. So 60 seconds. Lower and squeeze. Listen to your body for your range of motion and for your speed. I'm definitely not keeping up with the music, not even a two count pace. Because with this long lever, with this straight arms, I'm trying to get that full range of motion. Same thing with the legs. I'm matching those movements with my arms and my legs are already tired from all the heavy glute bridges we've already done. Halfway, I wanna show you from this side so you can see my arms are straight. When we squeeze up, I keep my arms the same. So you're never bending, never extending. Squeeze up, lower down. And this should be a comfortable range of motion. It's not a stretch. We're trying to strengthen, not stretch. So keep that in mind, really important. Three more seconds, two, one, and done. Great job, holding your hamstrings, sit up slow. You can set those dumbbells onto the floor. Mountain climbers, we're already down here, so try to do horizontal if you can. It's gonna be 30 seconds. Wrists are below your shoulders. In a great, great plank. Here we go, mountain climbers. So maybe you don't wanna move your feet. You wanna keep both feet in contact. That's fine, you can still do mountain climbers. You can do them slow, you can do them fast, but keep good form. One leg at a time means you always have one foot in contact with the floor. Jumping is the most intense option. Do what you need. Keep breathing. Long neck, strong core. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Soften the knees. Sink it back. Feel that length, feel that stretch. When you are ready, onto the balls of our feet. Support yourself up, take a nice deep breath, and exhale. Grab a drink, towel off. We are halfway, two sections down. We've got two sections to go. Shoulders are part of every single group. So are those mountain climbers. But we're gonna isolate the triceps and the biceps and change up the legs. 